The top stories, the NEPW presents new jobs proposals to government and a body is discovered in St. Philip. This is Nation News for Friday, December the 27th. I'm Bertram Niles. You want your loved ones around to celebrate, especially those living far. And with Digicel Top Up, Dad can help you bring life to the party and be part of the celebration. Ask him to send you Digicel Minutes. Receive free instant additional credit. Stay connected here and there. Ask your family abroad to send Digicel Minutes today. The National Union of Public Workers has presented a new set of proposals to the Ministry of the Civil Service as an alternative to cutting 3,000 public sector jobs. The union has at the same time withdrawn an earlier proposal of a freeze on increments on equal grounds but said public workers were prepared to sacrifice one week's pay in the first quarter of the year. One of the major proposals which came out of the news conference was the reintroduction of bus fares and bus tickets for school children. The union has also called on government to introduce a tax on cellular phones, increase kerosene and gas by 1% and improve revenue collection at the customs department. The body of a man was discovered this morning in Brayton, St. Philip. Initial reports indicate that the body of 50-year-old Anne Steve Burke of Little Bentley Christ Church was found by a friend close to an area he frequented. Police say there were no marks of violence on the body, which was found in an open area next to a house. An autopsy will be conducted to determine the cause of death, and police investigations are continuing. Many visitors from across the world have been enjoying Christmas in Barbados. Most arrived by air, as usual, but some came in via the high seas. One such person is yachtsman Matthew Barker, who sailed from France on his classic vessel, the Blue Peter. Barker, who is on his second visit to the island, docked the yacht in the inner basin of the Carinage. I love Barbados. We were here last year because the race we did last year ended in Barbados, and we spent a month here last year. And it's a beautiful island. Lots of uh, nice people, nice restaurants, nice beaches, perfect. Well, because I sailed across this year with just friends and family, and they've all had to go back to their jobs and things back in Europe. So I'm on my own for a while. To Trinidad and Tobago now, where a blind man and a police officer are among three people who died in violent incidents over the Christmas holidays. The 44-year-old blind man and the 35-year-old were killed in separate incidents in the volatile Laventil area in East Port of Spain. A 29-year-old constable, Lachman Singh Puran, committed suicide after shooting his niece in the chest. She is currently in hospital. Jamaicans can expect new taxes in 2014. This is one of the decisions taken after deliberations between finance officials and the IMF. Government revenues have been below target because of the country's weak economic performance reduce imports and a sluggish labor market. The opposition Jamaica Labor Party responded to the news by saying it would not support any measures which would increase the burden on businesses and consumers and discourage job creation and growth. In sport, national women's football coach Lennox Ferdinand has picked a 37-member squad for the first phase of the Caribbean Women's World Cup qualifying competition. Ten overseas-based players have been named to the squad, which also has 13 newcomers. The first phase of qualifying will take place next April. Next, the entertainment package with Leanne Warrell. At Courts, every day we bring affordability, convenience, innovation, and style to over 1 million customers in 11 countries. From homes to communities, we are proud to make a difference in the lives of many across the region. Courts, bringing value home. Hi, I'm Leanne Worrell, and this is your entertainment package. Christmas lights shone brightly at the People's Cathedral on Thursday as the church staged its annual singing Christmas tree. The life and death of Jesus was portrayed through song, dance, and mime. Speaking of holiday celebrations, local superstar Rihanna was seen partying and shopping it up on the island recently. She has chosen to spend her holidays at home with some sun, sea, and sand. As we looked forward to 
what's next on the holiday calendar, All Year's Night, Natasha Beckles gives us some tips. Christmas Day has come and gone, and All Year's Night is almost upon us. For many of us ladies, we're looking for the perfect outfit for All Year's Night. If that's your case, we have some tips for you. We have what Rihanna made very popular this season. It's a barely there stiletto. It has an ankle strap and just a toe piece. Why they call it a barely there stiletto is because it doesn't really have much else going on about it. It's very simple, but it's very elegant and very sexy. So if you want something that's trendy for the season, this is where you can start for Old Year's Night. Going on, the next style that's very popular is this boot style. It's kind of strappy type shoe but it looks like a boot. So it's really called a booty. It has a peak toe and an ankle strap. So these are for the type of ladies who, you know, are a little more edgy, a little more rock type individual. Uh, they really want to look out there for the season. This is the type of shoe that you would go for. And you want to, you know, still look flashy, still look elegant, still look dressed up, but not be too high. We have your ballet flats right here. Anything with a little bling is always the thing so you can you know put on your nice outfit and put on your nice elegant black flat with a little embellishments which would make your outfit look really nice instead of wearing a high heel shoe and it will be perfect for you know those house limes or if you're going on you know to the park you know walking the boardwalk that type of event uh, if that's your thing for this season some of bob marley's most iconic work has been recognized by rolling stone no Woman No Cry, Exodus, and Redemption were but a few of the songs which made the 500 best albums of all time. Jimmy Cliff and Toots and the Matals also made that list. I'm Leanne Worrell, and that was your Entertainment News. Finally, is there a word that really, I mean, really annoys you? A public opinion survey in the United States says whatever has been rated the most annoying word for the fifth straight year, you know? that casually dismissive, even rude, whatever, the ultimate put down, right? And that's Nation News for today, December the 27th. I'm Bertram Niles.